Outdoor Heretic back with you. And uh, if you've been watching the Hillbilly Single Live, we're going right back to it. So, um, as you can see, we've got the trailer um, modified. We put the bottom on. We've got it coated with flex seal on the bottom. I'll show you that and then I'll explain what we did. Alright gang, uh, you can see flex seal is on. What I did is I took some commercial grade adhesive and uh, went right down in the middle of the two pieces of wood as you can see right there. Uh, just did that because I am anal retentive and you guys uh, should learn the one thing I did do you can see the bare wood right there I did make a mistake I didn't account for the wood not being able to go under it I'm gonna tell you here in a moment why I did all that all right so uh wanted to show you this quick picture on the floor and then we're going to progress and start moving forward if you can look at this picture you can see the outer perimeter of the bottom i've taped off and then once i'm done painted i left uh, about i don't know an inch to two inches i think the tape maybe two inch tape I left about a two inch strip on the outer perimeter. Uh, the reason I did that is because I, in my research for poor man's fiberglass, poor man's fiberglass was not adhering if the people painted it first, they primed it first. So I didn't want to take the chance that I get finished, poor man's fiberglass wouldn't adhere. So. Uh, we're going to now show you what the next step is going to be. We're going to show you uh, how we're going to do it and uh, show you why. Now before you go anywhere, let me say this. I'm not a carpenter. I don't think I'm a carpenter. Actually, to the contrary, I think I'm a hack. Uh, but I enjoy a challenge. I like uh, that I've been able to do the research. Some guys like the Armadillo Junction, uh, gave some great information on how he went about his build and allowed me to ask some questions so i'm just a hack stay tuned and see what we're going to do next all right everything's on this trailer uh fender wells we're going to go back touch up the paint we're also going to go back and put some um a wood filler into uh, a couple of holes that i had to bore out and um, one thing I would tell you guys, and if you're listening at home, one thing I would tell you, this trailer had some holes already in it. I've used three quarter uh, bolts and I had to actually buy two inches and I had to put extra washers under it to be able to get, get, um, get it there. I couldn't put a washer under the bolt because it's so far inside and my flange just wasn't that wide um, but if you're going to do this and you have a new trailer put your wood on drill the hole through the wood go ahead and start the hole in your metal and then you can always pull the wood up that'd be the easiest way to do it all right next step is just this simple what we're going to do is we're going to take this two before now um, I've told you I don't think my method is the best uh, I'm doing it I've, I've cheated as a friend of mine a pastor says if you find something that works steal it and uh, I have uh, looked at probably gosh, a lot of hours of video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this wood right here I'm gonna measure three quarters of an inch over I'm gonna draw me a line and then I'm going to do the same thing over there. And uh, we're going to measure three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to put our two before right on the edge of that line. 
we'll do that we'll show it to you before we do anything else and then we're going to come under this plywood right here we're just going to come under the plywood and we're going to drill uh two inch screws right into the two before that's going to serve as our wall attachment and um I'm going to have a false bottom in this. You probably heard me say that, and you'll be able to see that. Uh, I wish people would invest in a muffler. <laughs> um, so we're going to have another two before that goes down the middle, and then another one on the side. We're doing that to beef this up some, and so that we can have a false bottom, and we can store stuff if we need to. All right. So we got the two befores cut i'm using two befores again i just want to preface not saying my way is the best i'm just saying this is the way i'm doing it research that i found this way i can add stability as i go up i'm using a two before because i want to put a false bottom in it i want to be able to store fishing poles linens uh, sleeping bags whatever under my floor be able to pull it up get it in all right so a couple things first thing this two before is going to go flush with the front okay so it's going to be flush that's one thing and then i'm just using this as a template uh we're just going to be able to set our wall right there we're going to take two inch screws galvanized screws or coated screws decking screws and go right up underneath to hold that down we're going to latch it down with our uh, quick grips and uh, we're going to do this all the way around on the sides then we're going to take the sides of the actual camper we're going to line them up and then we're going to cut around the fenders we'll do all of that and then we'll be back with you so we have gotten the walls on and uh take you around here away from the sun i'm gonna have to go back and trim out this window a little bit up here uh, my jigsaw when i was cutting it my blade was uh dull and you guys can see got my first rung in let me go back the other way sun might be in your eyes and uh you guys be giving me a thumbs down and tell me how sorry i am so first rung is in this is the back and uh, this is how we're going to do it. You see the two befores are there. And uh, we're going to have to figure out, probably skag the back. Um, I'll, I'll try to figure out. I'll skag either around those or something. And uh, But we're going to put the rungs in this thing. And we're just going to finish out the rungs today. And then we'll see what we're going to do after that so i'll be right back and we'll talk about what we've done all right so let me show you what i've done there and uh so as you know we attached the floor we put this two before and i used the two before uh in here because i'm gonna have a false bottom but we screwed upwards from the floor so we have attached the floor now i've got three quarter inch bolts and you can see with uh, washers because my bolts were two inches and really could have got away with probably really needed an inch and three quarters or would have went metrics but got three quarters and uh, so we're there I have put caulk down the middle um, from underneath I've put construction um, adhesive and we've caulked that to death we're gonna put some wood filler over that uh, I really don't think that's going to be a problem with water now we put two befores and as you can see we're going to be able to put our false bottom just right over that wheel well we'll build around that I'll show you uh, how we're going to do that we come over here and I've, I'm going to come back and get a little more uniformity with these screws uh, trying to do this by yourself is not easy so we just tack the screws to that two before I've screwed in about every two, three, three and a half inches underneath 
to that two before and then we've just gone this way into um, that two before these um, everything has received liquid nail uh, you can see there uh, the liquid nail and uh, everything has been attached per liquid nail so the two befores have liquid nail on the side of them and pressing up you can kind of see that in there and then on the bottom where that three quarter inch plywood set uh, we went down through there now somebody may ask why did you put three quarter inch uh, it's wood I had here at the house I had pressure treated on the bottom this is not pressure treated uh, so it's wood I already had and didn't have to go out and buy it we did have to buy the two by twos to do our rungs walls are standing pretty level right now so we're kind of happy about that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish out the rungs all right guys um, we're gonna finish up this video I don't want to make it too long for you and I'm trying not to go in in 59 parts we're just trying to get uh, get you in there hopefully today we'll tell you everything that we've done so far we cut around those wheel wells we're gonna put those rungs on the plywood itself um, we're gonna go ahead and finish out the rungs today I don't have plywood for the top so that's something I will have to buy uh, we'll try to do that at some portion next week I'm gonna have to put this thing in the garage so it means that we are going to have to start trying to up it a little bit at least get the PMF on where um, I can go and put a tarp outside or over it until we finish the inside but um, we're going to go ahead and finish out the runs get the plywood on top and then um, the next step really will be just um, actually before we get to the next step I'm going to go ahead and and also fill some of those holes uh, that I miss drilled in the floor we're going to go ahead and tidy all that up get that tidied up and then we'll um, we'll get ready for the next step next step to me once that roof is on uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of draw out my false bottom get that in and then we're gonna PMF this thing and you guys have seen those videos so uh, we may not do a video on that we may we may do a short one show you the PMF and then uh, we'll get ready to start that outside but we're not putting windows in windows will be the last thing the vent on top and the windows and the door will be the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and decide what I'm gonna do on the door and we'll figure all that out so hey you know what do me a favor like this video go ahead and ring the bell so you'll know when um, uh, we release another one and you know what we're almost at a hundred subscribers our first goal so get me to a hundred subscribers and I'm gonna give a free outdoor heritage Hadaway till we see you again enjoy the adventure <laughs>